here we go so in order to actually start the fight excessive power Uh, I actually have to check something real quick. So we're going to use that. I'm going to change over to uh, Soul and Mani. Change over to my set here. Weapon. Turn that off. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Okay, so we just need to wait for this thing to fall, which will it'll drill down in a second. Oh, I forgot about I forgot about these. I really don't want to um, risk taking hits this early on if I can help it. I'm trying to bait it to dropping. If there it drops. Ah, damn it! This will stop me from actually hitting it very much. Okay, cool. Phase one done. Okay, so I'm looking for... There's a face. Yeah, this. Get under the tail. And, okay, yeah, the finger just shoots lightning. Uh, we just ignore it. We don't care. Okay, uh, get away from the tail. Oh, I got hit by some bullshit. Getting hit by a lot of nonsense here. There we go. Phase three. Okay. Now that we're done with that, I need this out. So we I needed that uh that tentacle that just went up that uh right hand side. So I had to go to the top, and I had to chant just now to make it even possible for me to hurt it. Oh my god, it has eye lasers. Uh, as you might have guessed, based off of my statement just now, the eye lasers are new. Damn it. That's annoying. Okay, come on. Eye lasers got out of the way. I got hit. Hit again. Okay. Just have to hit it one more time, and it's moving into... God damn it. It's moving into the next phase. Eight over here. Okay, moving into phase four. Final phase, and this is where bullshit is going to happen. Good luck me. I unfortunately took a little bit too much damage early on. Part two... So basically, it's going to use powers from various guardians. So right now, it's using uh, the um, cow's attack. This is Vritra's attack. Uh, no, this is the cow's attack. I apologize. Of course, you're going to be on that side. Uh, 
Uh, we are not going to win because I'm about to die. Um, but we got pretty far, actually. So I can I can easily replicate what we just did. Uh, let's go get another... Um, let's get another... Uh, another fairy. I just have to actually like deal some of the damage a little bit faster. But this actually feels a lot easier and a lot more doable than I was expecting it to. Like, I was not expecting to get to um to uh phase four in one try. Can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. Without receiving any damage, please, God, no. Um, that does not sound like fun. Like, that sounds like very much not fun. Bait that over there. Oh, I forgot there's two of them. Phase one done. Need the face. Where's the face? Damn it. There's the tail. There's the face. Okay. Face again. There's the tail. Okay. Okay. That phase is done. Oh, damn it. I screwed that up. Come on. Where's the tentacle going up? Oh, come on. I'm using the thing. Yeah, I think that worked. No, in a second. Yep. Couldn't quite get it done in one attempt. Okay, cool. Phase th four. Do that. Do that. Here we go. I mean, uh, Kidna didn't last as long as this one does. Okay. So now you're going to use Reach's attack. Crap. I'm just going to hang out over here, I guess. Thankfully, the shield handles the hits here. So we're just going to play this safe. Because she does come over here. Or it comes over here. I don't even know. I don't know what the gender of the zero th or the night child is supposed to be. Okay. Now it's cow time. By the way, this does get harder, in case you're curious. She uses, uh, it uses attacks from all of the bosses. Come on, you pain in the ass. Ah, damn, I didn't jump. That's fine, we're taking zero damage right now. That's not, we're not losing anything. 
Okay, next one. This one is kind of irritating because I actually do have to move for this. There's a Vritra. This is the Yorman gun attack, if you're curious, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't recognize it immediately. Damn it. That should have been an easy thing to hit. Damn. Okay. So, there is the instant kill attack from eight, or from, uh, Aten Ra. I just need to be way ha out of the way of that one. I can probably attack her, attack it for just a second there. Uh, there is the revive, unfortunately. Okay, bullshit drop rocks from um, what's it called? I forget how long it keeps on doing this. Is this just permanent? No. Ah, uh, Tenra. Nope, death. Ah, oh, no, that was it. Okay, so this is seeming. So that was from that was uh that was Anu. So there's only like three other attacks it adds. Um. So I'm I'm feeling good about uh, about the strategy. Uh, I need to sit back a little bit more than I was doing and just take attacks of opportunity. But there's a couple of other times that I can attack it that I wasn't, um, that I wasn't going for originally. Just because they didn't look like I could easily hit there. So I think we can easily do this, especially if I can, again, get out of phase one, two, and three just a little bit faster. Especially phase three. But you see kind of how long... God, oh God, you jerk. Get out of my way. Th these guys spawn here on purpose, by the way, to slow you down from what I am trying to do. Okay. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this is doable. I just got to remember for this, I need to bait the two uh, tentacles um, away from it. Over here. Nope. I'm not going to get any hits off here. Damn. So this is wasting time right now. Okay. Large waste of time. Gotta find out where the face is spawning. Probably left-hand side? Nope, right-hand side. Avoid that. Come on. So if you do this right, which I will be doing this time. I didn't do it right last time. Um, you can jump on some of the rocks that leave on the way up. And on the way up... Chant. One, two... Okay. Uh, 
Oh, damn it. I missed that. Okay. I'm going to take damage here multiple times because I missed that tentacle. Oh, damn it. I'm taking so much damage I did not need to take. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Like, I'm already at 93. This is basically a dead run already. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Yep, I am just dead already. Oh, and I missed that one too. Cool. Great, super. Yep. Yep. Gonna go ahead and do that. Hey, Jack. Just reload. I mean, it's not even a practice try. That just felt bad. Oh, that's annoying. That just that just felt bad to to get so destroyed by this boss in sections that I have no business getting destroyed in anymore. Okay, let's do this. Let's set up the mantras now. Save with this out. Okay, now go to Sparrow Hell. Couldn't tell you, Jack. People are dumb. Oh, this is amusing. Did I kill Rad Tosser before? Yeah, it looks like he respawns. Okay, let's not get completely screwed by this thing. Cool. That was nice and fast. That's what we were looking for. Now we are looking for a face... Just need one more face uh, spawn, and we probably have it. Okay. That was pretty solid. That was not. Cool. I am actually going to have the fairy for the next section. Uh, switch out for this. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm annoyed that some of these are hitting me. Okay, so here's the Vritra attack. Not a big deal. So we're just going to kind of take this nice and slow. And just take attacks of opportunity. I have some good ideas of other places I can attack in. Uh, now is actually one of them. Okay, then we're just going to hang out right here. Now she's going to go back to the center. Ah, damn it. Fireballs were in a very not good position for me. 
Okay. Next section. Next section. Oh, nope. Uh, okay, what's she gonna do next? Atten. Uh, it sucks that I could not get the good hit on either of those sequences. Uh, time stop doesn't work on on major bosses, like, at all. It's not even worth uh, trying for. Okay, next sequence. God damn it. I don't know how to hit her in this section. I keep on saying her because I'm used to this being the mother. And, um... Oh, damn it. That is a special attack from Echidna. We never saw this attack. Like, we killed Echidna before Echidna ever used that. Um, I gotta figure out a, uh... I gotta figure out a better way to deal damage during some of those sequences, especially um, during Anu's sequence. Or maybe just not try to deal damage during Anu's sequence might be the better way to go. Okay, we're getting... That's really... Like, we were really close to the end, though. We almost beat her. And like I said, I'm calling this uh, her mostly just because in the original game, it was uh, it was the mother was the final boss, and um, I we can never I don't think we've ever figured out what the ninth child actually is, if anything. But we do have a lot of very good strategies going here. Phase two. Where's the face? Couldn't quite get it in one go. Couldn't get it in two goes. Got it in three, though. Okay, we're gonna have to wait because a tentacle went up before uh, before I was ready. Okay, one more hit. So we're just going to kind of wait in here. I'll read through stuff when I get a chance. It's just really hard to read through stuff while I'm actually actively fighting uh, the Ninth Child. 
Only got one hit in there. That's terrible. Still one hit. It's fine, though. We're not taking any hits. So, um, this is just taking time. That's about all we're all that's happening, though. Okay. New attack. I could attack it now, but I think we're just going to go for the safety strat here. Because it can't hit me right now, so I'd rather just not take the damage. Okay, so there, here's Jorman Gun's attack. So we're just going to kind of move, get out of the way. There's Vritras. Jormund Guns. Okay, cool. Here comes Atoms. Or Atens. Oh, that was risky and was not worth it at all. Damn. Cool. So I think we just dodge in this section. I don't think we go for anything here. So here comes Atens. Uh, damn. Oh, okay, I lose. Gotcha, okay. So, I've got to find a better time to attack. Still got hit for that, unfortunately. And for that. Okay, that probably not worth it. Okay, about to be incoming punch. Not worth. Oh, uh, damn it. Okay. And there comes that. Damn. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of what, um, what I want to do. Because I can get a lot of damage in various sections uh, of the fight. Um, but when Anu's section's happening, it's actually really hard to get damage in during that section. Uh, so I'm trying to decide, like, how I want to tackle, um, damaging her in that section. Uh, there was some negative progress on that one, uh, Jack. We actually didn't get as far on that one as we did on the previous one. I think we got more consistent with some of the damage, but uh, we actually did lose uh, lose a little bit of progress there. I would love to have the fairy with me going into four section. We're not going to attack until it dies. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. If I had ways to gain health in that section, I'd probably be tempted to do exactly that. Like if I was, if I still had fairy for that. Some of these sections just some of these uh these phases just take so long.
Like, this phase is going to drain the entirety of my fairy, unfortunately. Because of how long this is taking. I'm just getting some really bad spawns. Like, I couldn't attack the head the past two, maybe three spawns there. Damn it. And that rock got completely in the way. Okay. And I just took a bunch of damage that I really wish I hadn't taken. Because now I no longer have my fairy. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is this section. Okay, there we go. Well, it's not just time. It's also like I like to come into this section of the fight with full health. Which means that I need to take less damage. So getting to the end of phase three uh, with fairy means I'm very likely to come into this phase with full health. One more should do it. Yep. Okay, so now it's... Take a little bit of free damage there. Oh, no, not Anu. I want to get into the beginning of Phase 4 with the fairy. Like, now. Yeah, not the Anu section. I know I'm never getting to the Anu section with fairy. Okay, get up here. I should not have hit it. That was a terrible, um, terrible thing. And that was just bad in general. I'm, I'm taking a lot of really silly damage here. Damn it, I did not expect that to actually go through. Yeah, and I just got caught in the corner here, which is where you do not want to be. Okay, now it's going into the A10 section. Nope, not going to be able to get a hit in because of the uh, ball spawns. Okay, uh, ball spawns... Would have been nice. And now we're in the Anu section. And the problem is, it likes to stay right above me for this section, which makes it very difficult. I'm very dead. Um, it makes it very difficult when it's right above me to actually do anything there. I also, like I said, I took a lot of really dumb damage. Um, dealing with the uh, Jormungand section. I think running across the bottom is probably my best bet for Jormungand. And then I just have to figure out a good way to deal with the Anu attack and also deal damage. And that's the thing. It's not a question of just dodging it. It's I need to be able to deal damage. Because at a certain point, it's going to be Anu, Ra, and Surtur... And my only way of attacking will really be during Raw. Did I see the order? Yeah. It's Fafnir, then Vritra, then Kujada, then Jormungand, then Anu, then Atenra, then Surtur, then Echidna, then Hell. And uh, once you uh, finish Hell. It's it's the order that you're supposed to kill all of them. It's not the order I actually killed all of them. It, it's the it's the canonical order. I killed some of them out of order. I 
Okay, come on, come down. This is fine. Allows me to kill very quickly. Get my health back. Please give me good face spawns. Uh, that rock really screwed me a little bit. Good face spawns? Nope, face spawn faces on the opposite side of the arena. Come on. I am having that issue again where, like, the face is spawning on the wrong side of the arena. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, so unfortunately I missed the first tentacle. Which means I'm going to take damage off of this one real quick. But I can grab this one. Uh, we're going in with 248. Make that a lot less than 248. Annoying. What was my first boss? You have to kill Fafnir first. Like, that's... Th there is no option. You have to kill Fafnir first. But, like, I killed Aten Ra before Anru. Actually, I killed Aten Ra and Surtur and... Uh, I, I killed Aten Ra and Surtur before I killed Anu. Uh, yeah, but Surtur isn't before Anu. So it's not in kill order. Uh, that ball was obnoxious and made it so I couldn't get an extra hit in there. Okay. Here's Aten. Oh no, here's Jormungund. Here is Aten. Uh, okay, we're fine. Okay, that's fine. Oh, God damn it! I shouldn't have jumped. Jumping got me hit there. Oh, shit. Damn it. Nope. Ugh, that's it's so irritating. The way some of these patterns are going. Um, they'll be... She'll be doing Anu. And, uh, you know, the Anu balls. Is the punch Surtur? Yeah, the punch is Surtur. She'll be doing Anu balls, and the balls will be exactly where she's dropping for Aten. And as far as I'm aware, I can't block the balls or destroy them or anything like that. So there's kind of nothing I can do. 
And also worth remembering is that I started the fight with 200 health. I would love to start the fight with cl with uh, closer to 350. Oh, that didn't count, really. Because I wasn't standing directly in front of it. Okay. Cool. Okay, now we need really good face luck. That was okay. Also okay. Could be better. Significantly better. Okay. Unfortunately, we missed the first uh, elevator. And did not get nearly the hits I wanted in there. God damn it. That energy ball coming at me right there. Okay, we are starting this next section with significantly more health than I have in the past. Okay. Yeah, uh, we did take some hits that I really wish I didn't take, but we are doing significantly better this time around than we did last time. And there's kind of no reason for me to take damage in this section. So this is just free. Okay, I got A hit in. In case you're curious, when she's absorbing a new attack, um, you can't actually uh, hit her. That's why I'm not going for any, like, attacks at that point. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. I am so bad at this game. Oh, I am just doing god-awful here. There we go. It's only one hit, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. I need one more to force her to change phases. Okay, I got it. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. They're just gonna 
hang out under here. I shouldn't have jumped. Jumping was such a bad thing. Okay, so we can just whip these to get rid of them, which is good to know. Nope. Oh, I didn't I didn't pull out my uh I didn't pull out my cup. I didn't pull out the cup. Okay, so um we have answers now. So we have now we know what to do about Anu. Uh, when it's Anu and Aten Ra, I can just whip the the rolling balls that Anu pulls out. Uh, and that makes room for me to hit Aten Ra. What I need to not do is I need to not jump into Ra's attack. So if I don't jump into Ra's attack, we got it. Like, it's, it's significant... Oh, I don't want to be here. It's significantly easier if you do not jump directly into that shit. Um, this is what I think I'm going to do here I have this I don't have a reason not to use it because it doesn't work um you can't use that in uh in the fight so there's kind of no reason for me not to use it I think this is actually faster Okay. So let's see if we can get to boss uh, mode, into, to phase four, um, with at least that much health. The amount of health I had previously. I'm just having so much trouble actually hitting this thing. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, I don't need any mantras for phase 3. It, it's just the two mantras that I currently have equipped. Oh, cool. Thank you for putting the hand right there. Making it impossible for me to hit the freaking face there. Come on, face. I need the face. Okay, I need some rocks. I actually don't know if the face uh, got uncovered just now. Well, nope, face did not get uncovered. Cool. How am I supposed to know that? It's part of a tablet you haven't seen. Like, uh, like it, that's that's just the answer to a lot of questions like that, is it is part of a tablet I didn't read in this playthrough because I didn't need it. And a 174. We're actually even less than last time. Or than two times ago, rather. Okay, we're going to basically just do some practice. So I don't think we're going to win this time because of how low my health is. But if I don't get hit by Aten Ra, uh, it might work out. Uh, I, there's a reason I'm not using the cup right now. So the cup gives you 32 health. And the um, the software combination also gives you 32 health. But if you die while they're both available, you come back with 64 health. But that might not be as many hits as uh, coming back with 32 health once and then coming back with 32 health a second time. So I'm going to wait until I revive and then switch to cup. Ah, god damn it.
Yeah, so just don't freaking jump, forehead. Yes, now we have Anu. Oh, I really don't like where I am right now. I gotta remember I gotta go across the bottom for Anu. Damn, I didn't see myself. Yeah, I didn't see the revive, unfortunately. Like I heard it, but it didn't uh it didn't register. Just there's so much going on during that. I was doing okay up to a certain point and then I really dropped the ball. So there's a, I forget the exact way the uh, tablet goes, but a tablet that says something like the, uh, the, the sun has no idea the power it wields, the, new, the moon has no idea it has power at all, something like that, I forget. But that's the hint that you're supposed to use um, in order to use the, uh, the, the two mantras there. And it's based on the stuff that you see in the background. Cool. Thank you, Rock, for lifting me up exactly when I didn't want to be lifted. Okay. Need one more. Hopefully it's going to spawn in an okay place. It did spawn in an okay place. Okay, hopefully that actually worked. I kind of doubt it, honestly. It worked. Cool. Okay, we are going into phase four with full health. You know what? Just so I don't forget. Okay. Uh, that was an annoying hit to take. Thankfully, it did very little damage. Vreetra's turn. But basically, we're just going to take this nice and slow. Um, so I'm not going to try to t attack it during Kujata's attacks for the next sequence. Oh, god damn it! Really? So I'm not going to attack it now. I'm just going to wait, and we're just going to conserve health. It's going to take longer, but we don't have, like, a time limit at all. Uh, 
Okay, here comes the Yerman gun sequence. And now I have to attack it during Kujata. Ah, damn, that sucks. Double suck. Okay, Aten. Didn't get a hit in there. Okay, I'll accept that one hit. Anu! Okay. This is where stuff just gets hard to hit her. There we go. Are <laughs> we fight going? Uh, so this is the ninth child. This is the uh, spirit of the race that was supposed to replace us. It is also the final boss of the game. Damn it. I got a hit in. Not ideal, but not bad. Ah, uh, damn it, I took a bunch of damage in here. Okay, be on the right side. Damn it. Okay, now it's the hell section. And now she or it randomly does bullshit. I almost had it. Can we talk about invisible health bars? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not amazingly um, happy about the fact that this one has invisible health bars. Honestly, I went into that with extremely low health. Um, so the fact that we went, we didn't start with 352 on that one. I started with like 200 or, or something like that. Uh, so if I can just replicate that performance and just go, I just have to go hog wild at the very end. Just go absolutely nutso. And if I can do that, and we have to get a little bit lucky. Um, a little bit lucky about what order it uses attacks in. 